Hello and welcome to the first introductory video for TPEN, Transcription for Paleographical and Editorial Notation, a digital tool to help scholars transcribe unpublished manuscripts. This video relates to version 0.11 of TPEN. The video is designed to familiarize users with TPEN's transcription interface in its present form. The page you see before you is TPEN's current home page, which lists in a basic form all the manuscripts presently available for transcription. These include many of the manuscripts available on the eCodices site, Codices Electronici San Galenses. This video will make use of one of these manuscripts, St. Gaul 51, an 8th century Irish Gospel book, to demonstrate how to use TPEN's transcription interface. Clicking on the link, takes you from the home page to the transcription page for the manuscript you have chosen. I call your attention to the TPEN toolbar at the bottom of the page. On this toolbar you will find a link which enables you to return to the home page and choose another manuscript and two buttons which enable you to save your transcription or to save and preview your transcription. To the right of these buttons you will find a series of hotkeys which enable you to insert special characters directly into your transcription and four tag buttons which allow you to insert XML tags in your transcription. The Change Buttons link enables you to customize both hotkeys and tag buttons, setting them to your preferred special characters and XML tags. Below this link you will find a reminder of which page you are transcribing giving you the shelf mark of the manuscript and the relevant page or folio number. To change the page you are transcribing, use the Change Page drop-down menu. For this demonstration, I shall transcribe from page 11 of this manuscript. This is a standard T-Pen transcription page. The window on the right allows you to view the entire manuscript page you are transcribing. This enables you to examine the line you are transcribing within its overall context on the whole manuscript page. On the left, each individual manuscript line has been automatically extracted so as to assist your transcription. Below each manuscript line, there are two boxes, the upper box for your transcription and the lower box for any notes you may wish to take. To begin transcribing, simply place your cursor in the transcription box. This will automatically enlarge the manuscript line you wish to transcribe. In the case of our example, Aream suam, et congregavit triticum suam in hoream, paleas con. He gathered his wheat into the barn, John the Baptist speaking about the coming kingdom of God. Please note the blue highlighting on the image of the entire manuscript page. This cues you as to which portion of the page is being enlarged for your transcription. Once you have completed your transcription, simply move your cursor to the next transcription box. This will automatically enlarge the next line, and both line and box will jump to the top of your web page. Again, the blue highlighting cues you as to which portion of the page is being enlarged. I continue transcribing. Conburit igni inextinguibili, tunc winit Jesus a Galilea, then Jesus came from Galilee. At this point, I recognize the text as Matthew 3.13 and I wish to make a note of this fact, so I move my cursor into the lower box and insert my note. Correctly, I hope. Now I wish to save my work, so I move to the bottom of the page and hit the Save button. The text I have typed will now reappear in both transcription and note boxes whenever I return to this page. I may also save and preview. This takes me to a preview page which shows me my saved transcription arranged according to the manuscript's lines on the left and also any notes I may have made on any line I transcribed. I now return to transcribing page 11 of St. Gaul 51 and I bid you farewell as you turn to your own transcriptions which, we hope, will be enhanced by your use of the T-Pen tool. Thank you.